Hi there, it's April the 8th and we're coming to the last chapters of Torah, uh, of Deuteronomy uh, and we're actually just looking at the last part of Deuteronomy 32 and this is the conclusion of the sad song of Moses, the song of God's lament really over his people that they were not going to stay faithful to him, but they were going to turn against him. But at the end of the song, there's a, a very definite declaration. God says, I am God. I am the one who heals. I am the one who gives life. I am the one who takes life away. There is no other God apart from me. And there's a final coda to the song that says that God will avenge his people and also he will be merciful in his land. Moses then seals up the song, he says, with Joshua, and he gives it to the people, and he commends to them the land that is ahead and the life that is ahead, he says that, that God is going to be with them in the land. God, however, calls him to go up Mount Nebo because he's going to die on Mount Nebo. But not because he's not before he's looked over the promised land from the top of Mount Nebo. Now Mount Nebo is in uh, present-day Jordan and it's to the northeast of the Dead Sea and it's actually only about 25 kilometers from there to Jericho. So uh, Moses is there standing, you can picture him going up onto the mountain, He he's looking over um, the promised land, he can see the palm trees, perhaps the oases of Jericho. Uh, he's only 40 kilometers maybe uh, from Jerusalem. Um, there's the spread of the promised land before him. He can't go in because he uh, has been forbidden to go in by God as part of that generation that didn't serve God. But he is commending the land to the people who are going in uh, to possess it with Joshua. There's always an open door for us to respond to God's promise and to live in the good of that promise. There is always a land for us to take. There's always a place for us to dwell in God's presence. And today, as we consider this, um, this end of Moses, this end of his earthly life, it's as though he's commending to us as well the land that God has called us into, the promise of a God who will stay faithful to us as we stay faithful to him. Have a very good April the 8th.